Okay, good morning or good whatever time it is when you're watching this video. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my home in St. Louis, Missouri, where I do this from. And let me just say a little bit about why I'm doing this. I started this with this group of lovely group of women who are on right now on the Zoom channel that from that I'm recording it live from. And we started when the whole thing, the pandemic shut down. We were, most of us were associated with the yoga center here in St. Louis. And I just wanted it as a way to unite us and keep us together in the light, in the positiveness and in seeing us through this, these challenges. So I want to share that with more. So that's why I bring this beautiful group energy out into the world. And I work with different Oracle cards to kind of guide my meditation. And I draw them before I do the class so that I can be a little bit more focused with it. And I'll tell you wh where the cards came from and the name of the people so that you can look them up if you would like and get them. So today, today on September 13th is when this is recorded. We are going to work with the base the the earth star chakra which is below us and it might be different if you know the chakra system in um and if you're a yoga practitioner and you know the chakra system it this one's a little bit different which i work with and it's the same some of them are the same but some of them are a little bit different because of the fifth dimensional energy that we're bringing in. And what is that? It's, it's this light energy that's, been av that's become more available to us in the past 10 years. And as it's become more available, the different people that I'm following that have been tuning into this have been perceiving the chakras in a little bit different way, just like we're learning to perceive in different ways from our head to our heart. That's what the shift in this light is about, is about teaching us to perceive from our heart brain first and let the head follow the heart. Okay, so we will be connecting with this earth star chakra, which is black and white. It, in the beginning, it's black and white, but then as you can see, it swirls around and it comes becomes into this silvery color. So... Um, that will work with that. It's three feet below your feet. So I, I first just show the cards so you know what we're working with. But this is with David Essery made these cards. He's with New Moon Art. And then each chakra has an archangel that works with the energy of this chakra to help you access it, to help you align it with this new ascended energy. And Archangel Sandalfin is in charge of helping us expand the energy and get in touch with the grounded energy of the Earth Star. If you're not into Archangels, don't worry about it. You can just use, see how he's kind of like this. He's depicted on this card, which is a Diana Cooper card from her Archangel Oracle card deck. This one, he... Um, with the Native American energy, you can just, if you're, if you're not into the archangels, you can just tune into that aspect of it, the connection with the earth of the natives that, that lived in the United States or everywhere, everywhere has native people. Um, so I, I drew two other cards to assist us and I'll just show them quickly. Grandfather Sky, this is from the Denise Lynn Native Spirit deck and the sheep which are from the Diana Cooper Archangel Animal Deck. And when we start the meditation, you'll understand why these two cards were drawn. I had to meditate on it a while to kind of see why, but it was interesting what came up. So let's begin, shall we? You can be seated for this, or you can lie down if you would like. And just for a moment, becoming aware of your body, 
the surfaces of the skin that are touching the chair or the floor, whatever you're seated or lying on. My dog Maisie sometimes has a few things to comment on, so you might hear her in the background. And your breath. Just noticing the natural rhythm, the natural movement of your breath. And as it comes in, you may find that you smell something or that you taste something, just aligning your breath with the senses of the body. The feeling, touch, Hearing, what do you hear in your place where you are? And then just to start with getting a sense of where your sit bones are. So if you're lying down, you can use the back of your sacrum where your sacrum is touching the ground if you're seated the sit bones, those two bones that you can feel as you are touching the chair, the floor. And then drop your awareness down just below that as if you could feel and you can, just trust that you can feel one foot below your sit bones or below your sacrum. And then drop it down another foot. And another way that you can identify this is to feel the sensation of gravity. And let your body relax into that sensation of gravity. And then take it down another foot so that your three feet below the surface of the earth. This is where, and Maisie's chewing on a bone, if you hear that sound in the background. So she's helping us get in touch with the solidness of the earth, the bones of the earth. Just getting a sense of where that would be, three feet below, if you were standing three feet below your feet, that's where the earth star chakra sits. And see if you can get a sense, some of you sense color and just feel the vibration of the equal parts of black and white. Maybe you visual, maybe you're more visual and you see perhaps a yin and yang symbol. I'm just getting a sense of that polarity of the colors. And then letting them begin to swirl. The black and white colors are just the feeling of swirling or just knowing, making the intention to swirl those colors three feet below you in your earth star chakra. So that it becomes more, the, the colors merge and become more of a silvery color, they unite. So we're balancing and uniting all polarities with this earth star chakra. And Archangel Sandolphin, who is a very tall angel, he's here to help us strengthen this foundation or this Native American connection with the earth is here to help us with this foundation, to help us connect and draw the energy out from the center of the earth, the axis of the earth, that kundalini or life force energy, which also arrives in a spiral motion. 
So drawing that energy up into your personal earth star chakra, three feet below your feet. And just have a few breaths, inhaling that kundalini energy up into the earth star chakra. and exhaling and letting that energy now begin to come up through your sit bones, through your spine, into your heart. So inhaling, receiving the energy in the body, exhaling, distributing it, that grounded earth star energy, that silver color, and let it enter every cell of your body and also surround your body in a silvery cocoon of light. And this silver color with the assistance or guidance of Archangel Sandalfin opens the higher potential of all your chakras. So we all have a divine blueprint, sort of, it's kind of like our DNA, but it's a little bit more encompassing than that. So Grandfather Sky card came in to help us expand our ideas. So if you're struggling with this or if you're not familiar with this kind of meditation or this kind of system, we're going to ask Grandfather Sky to come in and just expand, help you expand. And Grandfather Sky also represents us expanding into identifying our personal note and expanding that our personal self, our higher self, our individual self, and expanding that into the essence, your essence blends with the essence of the group of being a human being, of being a sentient being of all beings on the earth. So let's just ask, first of all, for us to understand and know, perhaps we hear our individual note, our individual sound, our essence. There's a lot of ways you can look at it. Maybe you get a feeling of it. Maybe you hear a sound. Maybe you see your particular brand of this silvery color of you, of your essence. And then letting that expand beyond you. It can be a sense of your aura, that silvery aura expanding out. seeing how far it goes, this expansion. And then we're going to call in while we're expanding our own personal self, we're going to call in the spirit of the sheep. The sheep travel in herds because they are here to help us. They're here purifying the pastures, the land, and this earth star chakra is helping us do the same. So the spirit of the sheep traveling in a herd with your particular essence, very strong, and everyone else's particular essence, particular note or sounding, however you perceive yourself, your higher self in a crowd. 
And you can imagine you're a sheep. You can shift into the consciousness of the sheep just with your intention and the herd of the sheep which they have hooves on the ground, but they're very sweet, delicate, soft. So they're softly connected to the ground, but they're also connected to their herd. So when your earth star chakra is very strong and very activated, we're gonna ask for a little more energy now to come down from source to help us activate our earth star chakra. Some see it as just a central sun opening up above us and coming down. And then we're traveling in this herd. It might be a herd of people, a herd of sheep that has a higher intention, just like this group. We started this group to unite us in a higher intention. So bringing in the higher intention of our essence into the group essence. And see if you can get a sense of being an individual very strongly, very strong in your foundation and also being in a group with others that have a very strong foundation, a strong connection to the earth, to this light And just notice any sensations, what changes, what do you notice when you connect with a group? We're going to ask Grandfather Sky to make sure that we don't forget our own. Often as a healer, we begin to lose ourself as we begin. If you're very sensitive and very um, energetically connected to people, you often lose yourself when you start feeling in a group. So we're going to ask the Earth Star Chakra and Grandfather Sky in our expansion that we keep an awareness of our essence, that we don't lose ourselves in this group. Or any group, you can put yourself in it might be interesting now to imagine you are in an, another group that you are part of. You're part of this community if you're listening to this video. But put yourself in another community, maybe where it's a little more challenging to stay yourself and voice your own truth. But just put yourself in that group with your feet on the ground, connected to your Earth Star with this silvery cocoon around us. And with the source light coming down and illuminating this group now and everyone's particular essence in this group and how it creates your community that you're standing in right now. And just practice just with your intention, staying with your strong foundation, but moving amongst this group. And everyone, whether they realize it or not, are connected to the higher good of this group, of this community. yourself, and we're all going to do this, we're all the center of this community. So the way I'm seeing this is me standing in the middle of this herd of sheep or this herd of people or this group, maybe it's a work group or some sort of group that you belong to. Put yourself in the center and everyone else is revolving around you. 
the interesting part is the same thing's happening with everyone else in the group. They're very centered and focused and everyone else is revolving around them. And we're all connecting these gray, silvery auras are all touching each other, but we're not giving ourselves away in this union. We're letting this union add to us. So breathe in that intention. And exhale out any old beliefs that are keeping you from being able to be in a group without losing yourself. And breathe in the belief that when my foundation is strong, everyone feels that and their foundation strengthen and we strengthen as a group. And if you hear a certain note or a certain chime that is yours, just hear the music around you when everyone sounds their personal note in this symphony of light. And this is the foundation of achieving your full potential. And we have a gift per se of being still sort of in a lockdown of being cautious about being in groups so that we can strengthen our own foundation. That's one of the gifts of this pandemic is bringing all of that scattered energy will call back all of the soul fragments that we have scattered around in our lifetime and bringing back that soul wisdom. The more we turn from our group, say goodbye. Thank you for participating in this. Come back to your space where you are now with your earth star chakra, three feet below you. We'll thank the native spirit. We'll thank Archangel Sandalfin. We'll thank our earth star chakra, the message of the sheep and Grandfather Sky for helping us expand. And let's come back to our senses, to feeling the surfaces that are touching the chair, the floor, the sounds of the room, the place where you are now. In your personal rhythm of your breath, maybe any smells, any tastes from breakfast or whatever meal you may have had recently. And just being back in your own skin in this moment, in this place. And when you are ready, you can open your eyes if they're not open. And we'll just bring our palms to our hearts. We'll be moving up the chakra. I'll be doing every week, I'll be moving up and we'll concentrate on a different chakra in this fifth dimensional system. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here today and participating in this. And much love to you all and namaste. 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 Mm -hmm. Namaste. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. That was lovely. Thank you. Thank you.